Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me again today for another episode of Ask Kate, brought to you by the Children's Tumor Foundation. Today I want to talk to everyone a little bit about Cafe Lay Spots. If you've been in or around the NF community for any amount of time, you're probably pretty familiar with this term. And if not, or if you're newer to this community, I'd like to just talk a little bit about what they are and why they matter. So a cafe au lait spot is a flat pigmented spot on the skin. They're often referred to by the lay community as a birthmark. Um, they get their name from the French term for coffee with milk because that can be exactly what they look like, that light brown color. Regardless of race or ethnicity, a cafe au lait spot is going to be a flat spot on your skin that's darker than the skin surrounding it. Now about 10% of the general population is going to have one or two cafe au lait spots and again they might just refer to them as birthmarks. Now multiple cafe au lait spots however can be a little more concerning or just a sign that there might be an underlying diagnosis that needs to be addressed. So therefore your physician might want to monitor you or your child uh, They might be suspicious of a diagnosis if they start to see three, four, five cafe au lait spots um, starting to occur either at birth or they can develop over time or you notice new ones um, as your child grows. Now the most common condition associated with multiple cafe au lait spots is NF1 which is why we're talking about it here today. Now there are other conditions however that can initially look like NF1 which is why it's really important to see a specialist who understands NF1 and other conditions in order to make an accurate diagnosis so that you or your child can be followed appropriately by their doctor. So NF1 is often made clinically as a diagnosis based on skin findings and the cafe au lait spots can be a really big part of that. We also know that we'll see freckling under the arms or in the groin area, um, but those cafe au lait spots are often the very first sign that a pediatrician might see. And that's why it's really important as an, someone living with NF1 or someone who cares for people with NF1 that you be an advocate and a resource so that you can let people around you know if you're seeing five, six, seven of these birthmarks, they might want to talk to their doctor to see if there's more information that they need or if there's a diagnosis to be made. NF1 is obviously really variable from one person to the next, and there's no guarantee that any particular number of cafe au lait spots means that you have NF1 or not. Also, the genetics of NF1 are complicated, and we know that um, we're always working to get better information about how to make this diagnosis. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is whether multiple cafe au lait spots can be caused or associated with something other than NF1. So although we know that NF1 is the most common cause of multiple cafe au lait, there's also a feature of other conditions. This includes Legia syndrome, Noonan syndrome with multiple lentigenes, which used to be called something called Leopard syndrome. Uh, there are chromosomal abnormalities, McCune-Albright syndrome, and, and there are probably others that we could list. So each of these conditions have features that overlap with NF1, but also additional features that distinguish them from NF1. So a specialist is really going to be required to make an accurate diagnosis in the case that we see multiple cafe au lait spots. So if you or someone you know is being referred to a doctor because of this, because your pediatrician has said, hey, there's a lot of these um, birthmarks or cafe au lait spots and we're concerned about it and we're going to make a referral to a geneticist or a neurologist, um, you know, please just feel free to contact me and ask any questions you might have. Um, there might be a wait time to get that appointment and a lot of times waiting can be very difficult and I would love to be a resource uh, and answer any questions that you may have. We also have a great resource on our website that I've been using actually today to talk about this in this video called What Are Cafe au lait Spots? You can find that in the Children's Tumor Foundation resource library on our website. That can be a great thing to, to review for yourself, especially again if you're new to NF1 or perhaps if you're waiting for a diagnosis and it's still unknown whether you or your child is going to have a diagnosis of NF1 or not. As always, thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing everybody here next week.